Hold on, I gotta check my thing for the moment. And then I have to go and do a bunch of stuff and yada yada yada. Okay, good, it's still on. So, we got finally got some new news about Pokemon and we got our first episode yesterday. So I'm gonna be going over that. I did make a video just talking about Steven yesterday, but I said some things that I don't think I should have said. So I'm going to be doing that video off my computer because I didn't upload it, anything yet. So, um, as you know, I wasn't planning on doing anything or, but, um, since everything's been figured out, um, I will be, the only day I'm not going to be doing stuff is tomorrow. You will not be seeing anything from me tomorrow after a certain, or at a certain point. But, um, we got, I'm going to start with Steven Universe because that came first in this case um i'm not gonna be going over steven floats unless you guys if you guys didn't see it before yesterday honestly it was just nice to see a new power but honestly it wasn't that big of a thing for me because i had already seen it once before um but the droppy dad uh i guess they were right that the manager was gonna be coming back i think people had speculations about that but honestly, it wasn't really- I actually fast- there's some episodes I do fast forward a little bit sometimes, and that was one of them. I didn't- so I didn't really- I stopped towards the end. I guess the guy was, um, trying to advertise some cola. Waka cola, I think. Which is- this sounds disgusting. I think everyone else agreed. So... I guess the other reason why he technically was there is because he was legally obligated to give Greg Universe something. And it turned out it was a check for a lot of money. So, the next up, I mean, today's episode makes sense why they're going to, um, the big city for this universe. That's close, the closest big city they've got. So, uh... I don't know if I'm going to be watching it tonight or to, or today or tomorrow. Depends on what's going on. Um, but now we have Pokemon. I'm still waiting on Gene's video. I'm guessing he's still like recuperating from whatever he went to for the convention that where he found probably all the same information out. So I'd still say watch his videos, obviously. But um, there's a lot of people already putting stuff up, and I just happened to see the information come out today for English. And I look. I'm actually on the Bulbapedia website for the new things. Now I am going to be going over the two that we had already kind of found out about, but we didn't know, or but we still weren't sure about. And they actually have their English names. Um. So I'm going to start with Mimikyu, which is it's also its English name. It's a disguised Pokemon, and I'm just reading off the origin of the name, the origin of the idea and the second half of the biology, which is what it's about. Um, it is a ghost fairy type, and honestly, I'm kind of starting to, it's starting to grow on me, but it's not a big thing still for me. Like, here's the second half of the biology uh, information. Mimikyu, oh, oops, right, I think. Um, Mimikyu is always covered by its disguise. Since it, this Pokemon is weakened by sunlight, it's rumored that the veil it uses uh, is used for protection. It believes seeing its true form can cause mysterious illness. Mimikyu's disguise is modeled after a Pikachu because it was popularity of a Pikachu style merchandise. Okay, so maybe this isn't um skin, Pokemon skin like everybody's thinking. It might actually be um uh, just a toy and I think I actually watched um, a different guy who was talking about this and a theory that he had come up with, so um, in the past about something when they remade um, Ruby and Sapphire. It was one of the Elite Four characters. Well, and while you bought, battled her. Anyway, um, this lonely Pokemon thought that this disguise would allow it to make friends with people. Yeah, well, curiosity kind of screws you up. Um, sorry, my neck's bugging me. Uh, its origin, Mimikyu's disguise is based on Pikachu. Its disguise resembles a coat ghost costume made of made from a bed sheet. Okay, yeah. If you all know about Charlie Brown with the whole uh, ghost with a million eyes and I got a rock thing, it's like it kind of makes sense. Um, obviously this one doesn't have a million eyes, it's just the two little eye holes. But that kind of makes sense. It's kind of cool. And then it's Mimikyu 
and Mimi. Okay, so they just took out 1K. Is derived from Mimic. Um, but okay, that's fine. And now for Bearware. Now I saw the video, and I honestly think th thought this guy would be small, but this guy is huge. He's based off of a red panda, I know that much. But this guy is huge. He almost towers a Pangoro. But it's a normal fighting type, and its ability is fluffy or klutz. Sounds like me. While Bearware may appear friendly, it actually is actually very dangerous Pokemon. A very dangerous Pokemon. You must never be approached carelessly, even if it's merely swinging its arms around in a friendly fashion. It shows affection but with a fond embrace. Uh, but its hugs can be have incredible force. Trainers of this Pokemon must, must teach it to restrain itself when showing affection. Yeah, I'm gonna bet that when we do the lower region for the TV series, that somebody's gonna have this Pokemon and it's gonna ha have this problem. I am betting on it. But we're still in Pokemon Z, so it's gonna be a while. Because we still have to wait until he becomes a champion. And this doesn't come out till November, so we still have a few more months. I'm hoping we finally get to do... I mean, unless he, uh... Because he always has to go for the championship. That's always, always happens. So this might be maybe until next year or something, even later, that when we get the, um, Alola region, once everything's been revealed. Um, Bearware seems to be based off of a bear, but traits, um, but also has traits of common with a red panda, such as a tail, muzzle, and ears. Yep, that's for sure. Bearware may be a combination of bear, wear, or beware. Okay. And its thing is a wearing bear for the Japanese name. I don't know if I'd ever get this Pokemon. Honestly, I would probably get Mimikyu more than this one, but I don't know. It's a nice Pokemon. Okay, so now we got the new Pokemon that were that were just revealed. And the first one is this wimpy little bug called Wim Wimpod, and it's called the Turntail Pokemon. Um, it's a bug water, and I guess it's the it's been a while since we have had a bug water type since, like, I guess, Surskit. Honestly, I'm not counting how many of the Pokemon we've had of the types now. I'm only make, keeping an eye on what is new. Like, um, uh, the dragon one I mistook and, um, Cutie Fly. Guys, I should probably find my list. which is under here somewhere. I have no idea where I put it. Because... Uh, okay, well, here's half of it. And... Oh, that's something else. Well, I've got half of it. So... Let's see. I mean, if I find my other half of my list, I will inform you if there's anything that's changed. Honestly, I'm not finding it at the moment. So let's see. So far, we've only had a normal dragon, a poison fire, a fairy bug, and now and a fairy ghost. Or is it a dragon mama? I don't know. I honestly don't care which order it comes in first. It doesn't matter to me. It's more or less the fact of, um... Oops, and now I got pink on me. Um, what we still need. So, I know the other half is somewhere, because that has what total still. Um, but this Pokemon is cowardly by nature and wary of both noise and sudden movements. However, its curiosity will cause it to approach people or Pokemon that are standing still. It will spit poisonous liquid when threatened. The stench of the fluid warns others that danger is nearby. Wimapai will eat and store anything, including garbage from the sea. This habit makes it them highly valued by cleaners. Great. So an OCD Pokemon. I think the last time we had one of those was um, Minchino or Chinchino, I think. And its name is a combination of Wimp and Pod and 
small feet bug is the Japanese version. And now we come to Bound Sweet, the fruit Pokemon. We already had a couple of them. Or a couple fruit looking Pokemon. It's just a grass and it's got Leaf Guard or Oblivious. This Pokemon excludes a, excludes a delicious smell from its entire body, which has made, made it popular with people in the Aloha region. The scent has a calming effect on people, so they are often used or often uh, used as living, I mean, living air fresheners. That's mean. That is horrible. Because, I mean, people use air fresheners in multiple places. The car, uh, and the kitchen sometimes, and the bathroom. I would hate to have, I hope that they just mean like a car or a room instead excluding the bathroom. Because I would never do that to a poor Pokemon. That would traumatize it. I'm sorry I'm going in that direction, but that's... I'm sorry, but that's just wrong. Um, however, its sweet scent can also be... I mean, also cause to be swallowed whole by other Pokemon. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> While fleeing, in, fleeing danger, Bound Sweet skips along. <laughs> okay, wow, we got another skipping Pokemon. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting myself. Um, skips along its way and does not convey its desperation. As a result, no one ever comes to help it and has been known to drive away Emmys by rotating its calcs, but become, I have no idea what that means, but it becomes dizzy afterwards. Okay, I don't know what the calcs is. I'm guessing it's either part of its body. Um, it's based off of a purple mango steam, which I'm guessing is a fruit. And obviously the same is derived from bounce and sweet. And this one I'm liking, it's another fairy, t it's a fairy type, um, Comfe, it's a posy pixel Pokemon, and it has Flower Veil or tr Triage, which I don't know if that's a new one or not. Um, I'm gonna say it's, it doesn't have an origin, but I feel like it's like the, when they give out those flower, um, necklaces when you, um, get off the airplane for Hawaii or something like that, I feel like this is one of those kind of Pokemon. But its name is derived from comfy, comfort, or comfrey, or fey, and lay. And cure, it's a Japanese name is, means curing. I mean cure brain. Okay, now for the bio. This Pokemon picks flowers to create a ring around itself. Okay, maybe I should actually read part of this. Top of his head is on the fluffy. It has a th oh, it has a thin blue thread around it, so it's kind of like a, like an antenna or a tail of some sort, and that's how it puts the flowers on. So it's kind of like a floor guess, but uh, it doesn't. Its flowers are not naturally a part of them. That's cool. I mean, um, I mean the first two evolutions, um, of that flower as in Flores were the same way, they had to pick up flower. Um, those Pokemon picks up flower to create a ring around itself. And will give these rings to those it likes. The, ooh, I definitely like this Pokemon. The flower can also be thrown an enemy Pokemon to create an opening to either flee or attack. Comfey spreads oil from its body along the flower ring. The oil changes the flowers, flower so it's so they emit a soothing fra fragrance that affects both Kumpe and its al allies. The aroma can also help with treatment of people and Pokemon at hospitals. I like this one. It could actually, I mean, take a, uh, it sounds like it also could take um, the place like for the Pokemon centers. It could be one of those kind of Pokemon, which would be kind of weird because we've had a pink Pokemon since the beginning, I mean, Wigglytuff, we've had, um, Blissey, we've had Chansey, we've had Audino, but, I mean, maybe we, it's time for a new one. I don't know, but we always get one. Oops, I must have forgot to click on the next one, which will be the last one. Uh, yeah. Okay, 
And the last one's Mudsdale, which obviously is a derif derision of Clydesdale. If you guys aren't, um, I don't know what they serve in other countries, but um, it's a beer. And I mean, it's a very famous beer, so I'm guessing they do have their own in other countries, but still, it's a beer. Well, it's a beer, um, it, the Clydesdale is best known to be um, with the Budweiser thing, but it's a very strong horse, and it's very well known. Which is what, yeah, the dra resembles draft horses such as Clydesdale's known for the feathering on their legs, and obviously mud. And so yeah, um, Mudsdale is known for its both its powerful body and an and more emotional fortitude. I wish I was like this Pokemon sometimes, which prevents it from becoming agitated, regardless of its trouble trouble it's in. It will never cry out or and defeats opponents with a single blow. Yeesh, never mind. I don't want to be that mean. Well, I mean, it might be easier, but still, I don't want to be that mean. Uh, oh, never mind. Um, uh, the mud on its hooves, or the mud around its legs gives its kicks extra force. So those aren't even its legs. That's just like the mud stuff. That's just not very sanitary. One kick can turn a car into scrap pile, Ugh. and when galloping, its hooves can dig holes in asphalt. Yeah, I know I said asphalt. While while it's not swift, it has excellent stamina and can continue on for three days and three nights, dragging over ten tons. Yeah, this one's gonna be probably one of those construction Pokemon or hard labor Pokemon. But yeah, that's all we know right now. Um, I know there's that new stone thingy that most likely is for new moves instead of a mega evolution like everybody thought might it might be because um, of whatever with the manga. So obviously we haven't gotten the, an anime thing yet. But yeah, that's about it for that. Um, as I said, I'm not going to be on tomorrow for any videos unless it's any... Um, fairly early in the morning um but I will do I might do a video later today for the second Steven Universe or I might do it with two other ones um this is Ali pausing sorry about that that was the phone call for somebody else so yeah this is um I like the new Pokemon I like Comfey I kind of Mimikyu's growing on me I, and I kind of like Mudsdale I don't think I don't know about Wimpod, Bearware or Bounce Sweet but yeah I'm I'm actually interested in these Pokemon so far I'm just going to tell you what Pokemon most likely I will get when I play Pokemon Moon now I still have to get a console but I do have I actually had to re-pre-order um, Moon for some reason for some reason Amazon was giving me a hard time uh at one point but it's all good now as long as it doesn't do it again but here are the Pokemon most likely I'm gonna be doing for now I'm probably gonna play this three different times depending on how I figure everything out but Lynn's probably gonna be my first then I am torn between either Poplio or Rowlet for my second time playing this and then obviously whatever the third is um may I probably will get a pit pack I don't think I want to get a Young Goose, but I don't know. I probably want to get a Rockeruff. I don't know about Kumala. Tapu Koko, I would love to get, but I'm thinking he's a legendary. Drampa, it would be nice to get one. Bruxish, or Bruxit. I don't know if I will be getting. I definitely will be trying to find a Cutie Fly. Toga Damaru, I don't know. Sandalit, I definitely will try to get one. Male. Preferably, but I don't mind if I end up getting a female. I definitely would draw an outfit or design for that, like if it was human. Um, Mimikyu, definitely. Bearware, don't know. Wimipod, Wimpod, I don't think I would get it unless its final evolution looks awesome. Bouncewee, I really don't know. Um, Comfey, definitely. Mudsdale, maybe, is like a defense Pokemon. And obviously, I'm going to be getting Lunala, or try to get Lunala when I play this. Now, obviously, I play more for the story and also trying to beat the um, every the gym leaders and stuff. Now, I heard a rumor that we're supposed to be um, inspiring for other people to create their own gyms. 
honestly, I don't think that's going to be a good, if it is real, it's not going to be a good thing. Honestly, just keep to what you're, you're, they need to keep to what they're good at, even if they twist something, new things, it's like, that's not something that we want to happen. We want gym leaders, we want to battle, we don't want to be the one to create the gems. Well, actually, no, we do, but that, but not for like a main game, maybe like for a side bit game. Like if we want to create our own gyms and gym leaders and stuff like that, that would be kind of cool. Cause I mean, I'm doing that right now with my bio stuff. So far I've got um the second gym leader, which is a normal type, the fifth gym leader, or the fourth gym leader, which is a grass type, fifth gym leader, which is a fairy type, and eighth gym leader, which is a ghost type for my thing. And all are females so far. I do have males in my group for both uh, elite and um, gym leader. I'm waiting for my dragon champion, which I'm not telling the gender until I get the right base for that. Um, which I know which base I want, but it hasn't been done yet. Um, and then I created one of my evil characters, like, for the evil team. Now the thing is with me, I do different, um, types. I'm not gonna, like, do where everyone has the same kind of type or similar types. So, like, the one create one I already submitted, uh, uses fire. Pokemon, so yeah. Um, pretty much, and then I've also got another evil team member. I got an, a side character. I've got the professor made. I've got, um, the first gym leader made. And I think that's it. But until all six are ba of this person's bases are done, it's like I don't want to be putting that out yet because I want to make sure that I know I have the bases when I do, uh, create the group thing, which I'm redoing with the grass one I had done because it just doesn't look right. But yeah, this is Ali signing off. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Um, I will. I promise I will be doing my next Steven Universe pretty soon. And with that being said, I will leave it at 22 minutes.